this is an overview of the plans available from www.geodome.co.uk. Most people think that uh, building a geodesic dome is complicated. Uh, you need lots of tools, and there's lots of mathematical calculations, and uh, you have to cut compound meters. That's not the case with these kit, uh, these plans, or the kits on Geodome. Um, we have uh, the, probably the most simple, cost-effective, uh, flexible dome building system uh, on the market. Um, there's no hubs, so you don't have to build hubs. Uh, there's no compound cuts. Um, there's one angle for all of the moulding, so I'll, I'll give you a close-up of that. This is a piece of uh, tuber one that's been had an angle cut on it and been planed up. That's what the whole frame is made out of. Uh, that moulding is made into triangle frames. There's two triangle frames, uh, pretty much, uh, except for the door triangles. Uh, in, a, in a whole dome, so there's only two different ones. So if you can make one of these, you can make a whole dome. Uh, these are again simply put together. It's a simple angle cut on here. If you can build a picture frame, uh, you can make one of these. And if you can make one of those, you can build a whole dome. It's that simple. I've got a sample behind me of a section covered in polythene. Uh, this sh it shows how nice and tight and neat the whole dome is. Most of the uh, kits that you get on the internet with you know conduit which have flattened ends, it's nearly impossible to cover them, and it's uh, impossible to cover them neatly. Um, this I'll do. I'll show you a close up of the joint, so you can see that there's. It's tidy. It's neat. I'll show the inside. Like that. And that's all done with a very, with very simple basic triangle like that, that pretty much anyone can make. This one's been covered in polythene. It has, uh, the polythene has been stretched over and stapled to the edges here. And then after it's been covered, we, we then screw the triangles together. And that makes the, the whole dome then is covered like that. You can also, in polycarbonate or glass. This one has acrylic in it. Uh, again, it's a very simple process to cover the frame. This one's been painted white, so you can see the professional type of finish on there. It looks neat, tidy, and very professional. In this video, I'm just going to walk you through the basic principles um, and the tools that you'll need to build uh, one of these dorm kits. Uh, we'll start with the tools that you need and we'll move on to simply uh, building a basic triangle like that the domes are made from. Tools you'll need to build the kit um, would be a standard circular saw, cross cut facility is handy, um, and a tilt function so you can cut angles, uh, but any pretty much any standard uh, table saw will do that job. Um, hand saw. Uh, drill driver for putting screws in when you join, join the kit together. Um, C cramps come in handy um, for nipping them up, I'll show you that later. Um, and an angle gauge. Uh, that's about all you need to build the kits. Pattern making. <clears throat> You'll need to make uh, a pattern so that all your triangles are exactly the same size. Uh, it's not a difficult process, but you need to be fairly careful when you make it. Um, the plans will show you the exact size that you need to make your, each triangle. So cut your, a piece of ply to that size. Then you put your moulding on and fix this square backing to the back so that that touches the inside of, the, of each thing. That gives you the size of your... Uh, pattern. Um, well, if that's made accurately, I'll show you later uh, if that's made, uh, how you can check that. Um, you should have no problems making uh, all the triangles exactly the same. Once you have your pattern made, it's fairly straightforward to uh, start building your triangles. We've got an angle cut on one end only of your moulding. 
and uh, let me just pop this together for you. So to start with, that, put that on there, doesn't matter where it goes, slide that up till it touches tight. this joint nice and tight. Move to the next joint. Again, hold it tight to the pattern. so far. So all we need to do now is take off the ends flush with this piece of wood here. Okay, so I work this way so that you know that it's flush. still fit nice and tightly on the pattern with no gap. That means that it's an equilateral triangle that, and that's basically one triangle made. Okay, now I have a couple of triangles made. I'll show you how the uh, frame goes together. Now, line, line them up nicely. Should be nice and nice and uh, flush at the ends. They should be exactly the same size from here to here. If you cramp it. Then we're going to screw it together. The screw should be just short of the thickness of that. You want to get it as far into the, uh, the uh, second piece of wood as you can. You also need to get your first one, or your end one, as close to this corner as you possibly can. how all the frames go together. Uh, I'll show you a uh, pumpkin finished. Looks like this. Same process. One, two, three, four, five triangles screwed together makes one of the panels.